Welcome to the 38th episode of Animal Battle between the magical raccoon dog and the elusive bush dog. In the first part, we will focus on the raccoon dog, but you will want to watch the second part about the bush dog to decide which of these two amazing canids deserves your vote. After you vote in the comments by writing hashtag raccoon or hashtag bush, I'll announce the winner of this animal battle in part 3. But let's go directly to the star of this episode, the raccoon dog. I know what you might be thinking, what in the world is a raccoon dog? Glad you asked. A raccoon dog is actually not a raccoon, but it's a canid, just like wolves and dogs, although it is closer to foxes of them all. To make matters more complicated, there are actually two different species of raccoon dogs. The common raccoon dog, native to Eastern Asia, and now it seems that to Europe, and the Japanese raccoon dog, also known as Tanuki by the locals. But aside from small differences, these two species are very similar, so I can talk about raccoon dogs in general in this video. An interesting feature of raccoon dogs is those short legs, meant to bring them closer to the ground, where they can track food with their incredible sense of smell. But don't let those short legs fool you, because apparently they are incredibly agile, reaching top speeds of up to 40 km per hour, which is much faster than the top speed of bush dogs. They are also good swimmers, and even great tree climbers, bringing their agility stats pretty high. Raccoon dogs can travel long distances on the ground in search of their favorite food. What is their favorite food exactly? Well, everything. And I really mean everything because raccoon dogs are omnivorous and they have the most varied diet of all canids, from birds or their eggs, insects, fish, turtles, roots, fruits, carrion, nuts and berries, to feces, poisonous frogs and your soul. Ok, maybe they won't devour your soul, but they do indeed eat poisonous frogs. So they're born immune to poison? Not really, they just produce a lot of saliva to dilute the poison, and they just build immunity to poison over time. That is badass! But why do they need to eat so much? Raccoon dogs eat as much as they can to get ready to hibernate during winter, being the only kind of species to do so. While the 71 cm long doggo will only weigh about 3 kg in March, which is twice smaller than the bush dog, it will actually more than double its weight by September, reaching 7 kilograms. The chunkiest individuals can weigh up to 10 kilograms. Not only do they get chunky in the winter, but they also get fluffy, their thick condensed fur keeping them warm even in temperatures of minus 25 degrees Celsius, otherwise known as very cold for Americans. I'm very interested, what are they hiding under their thief like masks? Apparently, nothing since their mask is not there to conceal their identity when browsing indecent material on the web, but the black markings are great at reducing glare so that they wouldn't be blinded by bright light. It does have a side effect of making them look very much like a raccoon, but that is just an example of convergent evolution, which is when two completely unrelated animal species evolve the same useful traits. So just like the raccoon, the raccoon dog is nocturnal to avoid predators. There are many carnivores around waiting to hunt for these small doggos, but they have relatively weak canines, so wouldn't be able to protect themselves too well. Their biggest predators by far are wolves, but can also be killed by foxes, lynxes and birds of prey like golden eagles, goshawks and eagle owls. But perhaps an unexpected serial killer of raccoon dogs are cars. In Japan, about 370,000 tanukis are run over by cars each year, which is kinda sad, because they are actually venerated by the locals. Raccoon dogs are a subject of many Japanese folk tales, said to have magical abilities like shape-shifting, flying, possessing people and making your crush love you. Ok, maybe not that last part, no magical creature is capable of such miracles, but tanukis are believed to bring good luck and are now very prevalent even in modern media. Now let's look at how the common raccoon dog is treated in the rest of Asia and Europe. Oh, it seems like they're hunted for their fur, and the Soviets brought some raccoon dogs to Europe to breed them for more coats. Many raccoon dogs escaped into the wild bow and started breeding like crazy, invading almost the entire Europe and purging many native species to extinction. Now they're a highly successful species despite people hunting them, being listed as the least concerned species by the IUCN Red List. While at a glance the raccoon dogs seem to be quite unremarkable with average stats across the board, it seems like these small but opportunistic omnivores are thriving as a species, ready to adapt to any new environment they're thrown into. But how well do they fare against the elusive bush dogs of South America? You'll have to watch part 2 once it's available and can then vote for a winner of this battle writing hashtag bush or hashtag raccoon in the comments. Until next time, don't forget to respect animals.